Hello and greetings everyone. My name is Steve. Welcome Bull Runners. Welcome to the Bull Runners community. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. In this video today, I want to discuss Bull Run in details. And this video is dedicated to those new members that just joined us. Welcome to all of you and to those who are yet to listen to this video for the first time on YouTube. So I just want to break down Bull Run. I want to point out what problem that we're solving in the space how we're going about solving it and what sets us apart in the crypto space. These are points that I want to discuss in details and just highlight them. It makes our platform very unique from day one. And I want to emphasize on this because this is something we as a community can take pride in and be really confident about. To kick this off, first of all, Bull Run is a utility driven meme token that is heavily focused on NFTs. We are on ERC20, meaning that we are on the Ethereum blockchain. You can purchase Bull Run right here on the website by clicking on buy. It will take you straight to Uniswap. All you'll have to do is to connect your wallet and then you can select either ETH or USDC. We are paired with USDC, but either way you can purchase BRL with ETH or USDC. So I just wanted to point that out. If you hit DEX tools, you'll be able to see the chart. It will take you straight to the chart and you'll be able to follow up on the progress on how BRL is doing. Let me kick this off by what is actually the purpose of BRL? What is BRL trying to do in this space? Our main purpose is to solve the liquidity issue. That is something we've observed during the last bull run. In 2021, we experienced the largest bull run in the young history of crypto. And we observed a couple things. The first one was the oversupply of tokens, the inflationary mechanisms within the project. There were no liquidity retention and there were not tokens really burned effectively in a way that will benefit the project and the holders. So these are the things we observed and worked on BRL in a way to address those problems. Let me summarize them again. Oversupply of token inflationary nature of the tokens, not enough liquidity retention, and no effective way to burn your tokens in a way that it will take the tokens from the total supply and benefit the project that way. And this is what sets BRL apart from day one. These are the things we addressed and these are the things that really sets us apart as a project. Now, let me begin by how do we solve the liquidity issue? We have a whole ecosystem working towards solving this liquidity issue. We have mechanisms in place that I'm about to discuss in detail how we're going about doing this. We have a dual staking platform where you can stake your BRL tokens and your BRL NFT boosters as well. If you only stake your BRL tokens, you'll receive 70% of your USDC distributions. If you add your boosters, NFT boosters, you'll earn 6% each for a maximum of five that you can stake you earn a hundred percent of your USDC distributions and the distributions, like I said, are not in the native tokens. They're in USDC distributions and they don't run out. And as long as there are trades going on, the USDC distributions will be perpetual. In our staking platform, there is no locking period. There are no staking or unstaking fees. You can unstake anytime you want. There are no fees associated with it. There are no locking periods as well. You can remove your funds anytime you feel like it. This is very unique in the space. And to emphasize our staking even more, let me show you the number one wallet here is our staking contract. So right now there are 741,487 tokens that are being staked right now, which represents 75 and a half percent of the total supply is being staked right now. This is massive. In one of the videos I had made, I highlighted how this is only second to Binance, which is the largest crypto exchange by volume. So that's how serious our staking works and that's how serious our community is with the staking. And uh, it just shows that our mechanism works beautifully. Bulldozer goes hand in hand with the staking because Bulldozer are USDC distributions. 2% of every buy and 3% of every sell, those taxes go towards the staking pool in the form of USDC. And those who participate in staking are the so-called bulldozers. They can decide to compound the USDC for more BRL or they can decide to do whatever they please with it. And the bulldozer effect is actually a community effort 
to generate volume through this USDC distributions if they so decide. Now the true ban is very unique. True bans are very special because they ban tokens from the Uniswap liquidity pool. Tokens are being removed from here, burnt, and then removed from the total max supply. We started with a million tokens. Now we are down to 981,709 tokens. So we've burnt more than 18,000 tokens already within three months. As long as trades are happening, this amount will keep shrinking and our tokens will keep being burnt from Uniswap in perpetual. So if we go down here, like I said, we started with a total token supply of only a million, a million tokens. Like we said, we noticed that there was an oversupply of tokens. The second issue was but those tokens were very inflationary and that's what we're tackling right now. That's why we do the true burn, which we are burning tokens from the total supply, removing them from Uniswap. And with every trade, 4% on the buy side and 5% on the sell side, we are adding, we are feeding into the liquidity. The liquidity is the bloodline of every project. Don't let anybody tell you different. Let me make an analogy. You can have the most fancy vehicle with all bells and whistles fully loaded, but as long as you don't have gas in the vehicle, you're not going anywhere. It's not going to do you any good. That's the same thing with liquidity in crypto. If you don't have an ecosystem or mechanisms in place that retain liquidity, your project is not sustainable. And the holders are just exit liquidity. In this case, we are retaining liquidity so that anybody that wants to get in or out of the position, they can do that as they please. Our platform takes pride in retaining a large amount of liquidity to be able to build a sustainable ecosystem. As you see, we have a market cap of 1.57 million. One BRL right now sits at $1.60 and our liquidity right now is 424,000. So if you do the math, that is almost 27% liquidity to market cap ratio. The mechanisms are working and our ecosystem is built to retain liquidity, to keep burning tokens and removing them from the total supply. Also, our smart contracts are audited. They were audited before we even went live with the tokens. That security is another very important aspect for us. Another thing that we that helps us to solve the liquidity issue are, like I said, our NFT boosters. NFT boosters help to receive a higher percentage of your USDC distribution. And all that revenue generated from the NFT sales are going right back into the liquidity pool. So we have this mechanism in place that really feeds into the liquidity and ensures we generate and sustain a healthy liquidity pool. Like I said, liquidity is always the bloodline of a project. Any project that is not proactively working towards sustaining generating a healthy liquidity is not here for the long run. Don't let anybody tell you any different. So these are the points that we saw in the last bull run that were missing. One, oversupply of token. Two, inflationary aspects of the tokens. Three, lack of retention of liquidity. And finally, not effective burning mechanisms that remove the tokens actually from the total supply. That's the only true burn that really affects the bottom line of the token. Anything else is not a real burn because the true burn removes tokens from the total supply and that has a great effect on the price floor. These are the points that really sets us apart community. And these are points that we can really take pride in because from day one, we ensure that we have strong fundamentals in place that we observed that have been lacking in this space. And we implemented these from day one within the bull run ecosystem. Everything works beautifully in unison. And as you can observe, we really have a healthy liquidity, even though we have a low volume right now. And compared to the market cap, it's right around 27% liquidity to market cap ratio, which is extremely healthy. Compare that to your current cryptocurrency that you're in right now. You'll see how the, our mechanism truly works. So bull runners, this is something you can really take pride in, that we have a platform that the community believes in, rallies behind it, and stakes 75.5% of the total supply. We've burnt over 18,000 tokens so far, and we have a very healthy liquidity because we are actively retaining liquidity with every trade. And those are the things that were lacking 
since the last bull run back in November 2021, since the market started coming down and it's been a long winter. If you're a project, it's important to be solving a problem that we're facing. And everybody's facing this problem in this space and that's liquidity. And we are actively working in solving that problem by retaining liquidity, by binding tokens from Uniswap, removing them from the total supply, by having USDC distributions and not our native tokens, and by using the revenue generated from the sale of our NFT boosters and feeding all of it into our liquidity. This is a very sustainable mechanism that we can take pride in that we have. The fundamentals are strong, the tokenomics are solid, and the platform is built to last for the future. Bullrun was created in a bear market. Purposely, there is no better battleground to be tested in than in this market right now. And as you saw and as I've displayed on the screen earlier, you've seen how we have a healthy liquidity, we have a great burn rate, and a strong mechanism in place that retains liquidity. Community, this is the video for today. I want to point this out for those who are new in the community and for those who are yet to listen to this video. I want to just point out what sets us apart in the crypto space, what we're here to solve, how we go about solving it, and why Bull Run is built to last, is built to be sustainable, and focusing on retaining liquidity. Liquidity is the bloodline of every project. Every project that is proactively working on retaining liquidity and using all the mechanisms within the ecosystem to do so, those are the projects that will not just go through the bear market, but will excel during a bull market. So community, this is the video for today. I hope this was informational to you. I want to wish everybody a wonderful rest of their day. And as always, let's keep in touch.